their Valiant fans and welcome. This is Ty Snagler and join me, our men's hockey sophomores, Corey Anderson and Tyler Fever. Corey, a 3-2 victory over the number one ranked team in the nation, St. Norbert. Can you talk about the win over the Green Knights? Oh, definitely. It's a, uh, it's a huge win for us. You know, it's a, a big confidence booster as well. Um, you know, it all started with our preparation, and we, uh, we know what to expect out of them and vice versa. They know what we were going to bring to the table. So it was just a matter of executing well. And, uh, you know, it's a great win. You know, the boys really uh, came out to play hard tonight and uh, executed well, and that's all we could have done to get the W today. And then Tyler, this is the Vines' second victory over a top five ranked team in the nation. Can you talk about what it means to that program get two quality wins this season? Um, it's obviously really good for us. It was something that we strived for at the beginning of this weekend um, to at least take a game from them, if not two. Came away with one, and um, hopefully we can use that as momentum going into the rest of the year and really keep the foot on the gas and, and start to really come into our, our hole as a team. You recorded the game-winning goal. Can you take us through the play? Yeah, it was uh, nice. Uh, Lopato came in with the puck, and uh, I was trailing right behind him. Next thing I know, it pops out behind him, and I used uh, Lopato and uh, their defender as a bit of a screen and just shot the puck. I wanted to go top left, <laughs> and uh, next thing you know, it's in the back of the net. And then the defense was big tonight as they held a very good offensive scoring team to just two goals tonight on 21 shots. Can you talk about you and the defense standing tall and coming up with big plays? I think we get solid defense every night. Um, everybody who's in the lineup is selling out to block shots. Um, we stick to our system in the D zone, and it seemed to work for us tonight. Um, you have guys selling out to, to block shots, like I said, put their body on the line, and uh, it obviously worked tonight once again. Corey, the Green Knights came out there very physical with you guys. We saw a little bit of scrum in the first period, but you guys were able to match their physicality. Can you talk about how important it was to, you know, play physical against them, you know, not show that you guys weren't going down lightly? Yeah, exactly. You know, we're, um, you know, we're a team that, you know, we'll get tossed around sometimes, but you, um, other teams will know that we'll push right back, and uh, that's a big part of our game is uh, never quitting. You know, that's a big thing for us, and, uh, you know, they're, they're a good team, and they're a physical team, and so for us to be able to stick right there with them is uh, really good for us, and uh, it only boosts our game, I think. And finally, Tyler, like we said, a great win for Manhattanville against the top-ranked team in the nation. Can you talk about using this win as momentum throughout the rest of your non-conference schedule, then when you guys head back to the conference schedule towards the end of January? Uh, I think tonight really showed us like what we're capable of. So now, um, the past two games, I think we, we need to bring that game no matter what opponent we're playing. And if we continue to do that, um, I think the rest of the season is going to go really well for us. Thanks, guys. Congrats on the win. Good luck rest of the year. What does it take to be number one? Two is not a